Amigos de Juegos, Juegos y Coleccionables, ahora nos encontramos en el stand de AFA, AFA, que es, digamos, eh, la autoridad en lo que se refiere a los sistemas de evaluación de juegos. Me encuentro ahorita, de, perdón, de juguetes, me encuentro ahorita con Chad. Hi, Chad. Hi. On the show. Uh, first of all, AFA is the uh, name in, into a grading system. Uh, yes. How do you um, became this uh, entity, this great, this has to be? Well, I, we started the company about 16 years ago and we've kind of established ourselves as the, the company that um, has a good reputation um, in the, the auth grading and authenticating of, of collectible toys. Uh, and we've just built, uh, you know, um, you know, an establishment and a reputation where, you know, people trust us to, to send us their, you know, their toys to, to grade and authenticate. How does this uh, authentication work and how you decide the value of, of an item? Um, well, what people do is they send us their, their toys um, and then we, we grade them based on a, either a 100 point or a 10 point grading scale. Um, what we're looking for is flaws to like say a carded item like the card, um, the bubble or the figure. Um, we do not, uh, we don't put a value on it, but the, depending on, I guess, the condition and what the, uh, the item will grade, it kind of sets what, what the value, uh, you know, what the value, it, you know, it will be on an AFA graded item, so. Now, uh, uh, of course, this has a cost. Um, yes. how, um, it, it depends on the, the, the rating of the toy or the size of the toy. What depends the cost? Um, it's 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 both. Um, depending on the fair market value, they might have to go in certain to certain tiers, um, and the tiers are based on you know turnaround as well as fair market value. So uh, some of the some of the tiers are a little bit more expensive than others, um, and it's also based on if it's a modern toy or a vintage toy. Um, and then it's you know like I said, it's based on how fast you want it back and the fair market value, um, and then of course uh, if it's a standard size. Um, if you get into bigger size items, it's going to be a little bit more because the, the custom work and the amount of time and, of course, the amount of acrylic we have to use. Now, the, this service is U.S. only or is international? No, I mean, anybody from anywhere in the, in the world can, can send us their items for grading. Um, you know, we have a lot of customers in Mexico. Um, we have them all over Europe and, you know, Japan, China, um, you know, Australia, you know, United Kingdom. Um, anybody can send them to us. They would just have to go to our site download our submission form or do a, a you know an online submission um, fill it out you know pack up their items of course really well so they can you know make it to us in the same condition you know depending on the the method how they want to ship them to us um, you know and then you know once they get to us we grade them authenticate them and we'll you know we can ship them to, to anywhere in the world you do toys but I am seeing over there comics uh, video games what is the range of the products you uh, um, evaluate? We actually do action figures, toys, um, we have a video game line, we do die casts and we do dolls. We don't actually grade the comics, those are actually just uh, display cases for the comics. Um, outside of the grading of the toys, we actually have a fabrication department which makes all the cases for the graded product, but we also produce um, sliding bottom, sliding back cases for, for people that might just want to have you know, a nice acrylic display case without the grade. Uh, So you can actually purchase those if you, you know, if you go to our site, you know, you can order them online and we will also, you know, we can ship those to you as well. So um, what would you tell to the collector um, to use your service? Uh, how, um, I don't know, what, you, what would you tell them to, to, send, your, to send you the things they, they have? Well, I would say anything that, you know, of course a lot of just stuff is nostalgic and if it's something that you had as a kid and, you know, you really want to have, you know, sealed up, you know, you can have it graded and, and sealed and it's going to help, uh, in, you know, establish the value of what it is. Um, I think, you know, anything vintage or anything that's, uh, you know, it got some value to it, you know, once it's graded by us, it, it kind of will help, you know, definitely increase the value of it. Um, You know, like I said, with our reputation, our authenticity, it, uh, it definitely, uh, you know, it makes for your, your collectible to be a, a more of a, I guess, a, a valuable, you know, sealed. It keeps it protected and, uh, you know, it kind of sets the, the standard of, of what it is. Well, now you answer another question I had. So once inside, never goes, never go back. Correct. Like. For instance, you know, here's a vintage, uh, you know, R2D2. 
Um, once it's sealed, every piece has a unique serial number, which you can check in our database. Um, it has a grade, it comes with a label, and then it also has our hologram inside. Um, the cases are sealed. You can't open them up, of course, because once we put our seal of authenticity on it, you you know it wouldn't be uh, wise for you to be able to switch the figures around. So these cases are actually sealed, you know, on all sides, um, and you can't, you, of course, you can't open it because uh, if it's open, then you're going to lose, you know. Authenticity. Yeah, exactly. So. And it surely makes a good. Um, uh, case for displaying so yeah absolutely you know I mean it's, it's a great for display it keeps it protected you know um, if it, it's gonna help if you know the cases are, are, are beautifully designed and they're hard and you know it's gonna it, keep them from getting any more damage you know to them so um, it's not only for protection and authenticity it's gonna it's gonna you know it's a great display piece like you said so bueno, pues ya lo saben amigos, si quieren eh, aumentar el valor de sus colecciones, pueden enviar a AFA, uh, es website, AFA.com. Yes, if you go to uh, toygrader.com, um, it'll come up and I'll have, you know, our, all of our different, uh, y you know, all of our different divisions that we do, the video games, the die cast, the dolls, um, it, you know, as well as the toys. And, and then it also has our CGA store if you're just interested in, you know, buying, purchasing acrylic cases, but yeah, just toygrader.com and you know that'll take you right there. Pues ya lo saben, toygrader.com para que entren y puedan enviar sus solicitudes. No solo manejan este cosas card, también hay por ahí hay figuras luz. Este por si quieren enviar a uh, cualquier cosa a a, a ser valuadas. Eh, pues Chad, muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much. You're for welcome, you're welcome. This. Y bueno, nosotros continuamos juegos, juguetes y coleccionables desde Comic-Con. Also do you do the